Much of our waking life we spend mind wandering and much of our mind wandering consists of negative thoughts which are repetitive and intrusive, interfering with our ability to focus our attention on the task at hand. The default mode network is a network of neural pathways in the brain that includes the anterior medial prefrontal cortex, the posterior cingulate cortex, and the angular gyrus. The default mode network, or DMN, can be demonstrated by a functional MRI, or fMRI. As you can see in this slide, it lights up when we are mind wandering. In contrast, the salience network is a network in the brain involving the main functional areas or nodes located in the anterior cingulate, the anterior insula and the pre-supplementary motor areas. The salience network lights up on fMRI when we are focusing our attention on the task at hand. It is connected to the central executive network on the frontal parietal cortex, which then executes our intentions. If we have trouble concentrating or paying attention to the task at hand, there is a poor connection between the DMN, responsible for mind wandering, and the salience network, which is responsible for concentration. Mindfulness can be defined as the act of attending to the present moment thoughts, emotions and sensations without judgment or appraisal. Mounting evidence indicates mindfulness daily practice enhances attentional control and constrains unhelpful mind wandering. So what is the evidence? Recently, a systematic review and meta-analysis was performed looking at the results of studies that compared groups of daily mindfulness trainees to control groups that were not performing mindfulness practice. The studies were performed with functional MRI. The study's hypotheses were that daily mindfulness practice would increase the connectivity between the nodes of the DMN and the salience network and the executive control network and thus improve concentration and attention on the tasks at hand. 12 studies qualified to be included in the meta-analysis and they all statistically showed significance of a greater resting state connectivity between the networks in the mindfulness practice groups compared to the control groups. The results confirmed the hypothesis that mindfulness training improves flexible control of attention and focus. by spending just 15 minutes every day on mindfulness practice. After only eight weeks of daily practice, our brain circuitry has changed for the better, increasing the connections between the networks responsible for focusing our thoughts and shutting down the mind-wandering network which disturbs our attention.